Okay, uh, so this is going to be a new tutorial for uh, the construction of the rigging system in Maya. So mainly this is the based uh, fundamental way of how we set up the characters. So as you can see here, there's going to be the mesh, which is going to be at the bottom here in the hierarchy system, uh, a polygon mesh of a character. And we cannot move it because uh, yeah, there are many times that the character is going to be just one character, one piece of uh, geometry. So uh, we have to deform the each part of the uh, limbs or the torso areas. So we need a joint to deform uh, the characters more uh, better and for the animation. And above that, there is going to be the input is going to be like, or we can call it a parent, which is going to be the controller on top. Uh, which is going to help us uh, animators to just um, control the system more efficiently and on top of the controller there is going to be a group and I, I'm going to explain why we need a group or controller and a joint for this uh, tutorial I don't, I'm not going to explain about the joint because this is going to be a short minute short uh, tutorial and I don't want to waste much time here for the joint I'm going to explain this for another tutorial, but anyway, we are going to simply just look at the mesh controller and the group. So uh, this is our arm, and I'm going to explain why we need those things here, like the group and the controllers and everything. So uh, we have a geometry, like an arm, a robot arm, and actually we don't really need uh, any uh, controllers or group if we don't want to. Like we can just parent this out, like. This is going to be the chart of this uh, hand area, and the hand is going to be chart of this uh, forearm, and this is going to be the chart of this one. We can parent this out to uh, set up the uh, con this geometry can be the controller because this geometry, each of this geometry have the translate rotation and scale value. So we can just set a key for this cube, what we have here, and we can just animate it. However, then why do we need a controller? Okay, the reason why we need a controller is because uh, we want to make it clear. For example, we have different numbers here, right? We don't want those numbers to be here. I don't want that number because next time if I want, if we animate the characters and if we want to go back to the default settings, you we usually easily just set up uh, zero in here. However, as soon as we set this to zero, what happens is it's going to go back to the uh, default uh, pose. I mean, this is going to go back to the grid where it is set it up, and we don't want that. Uh, so I want this as a default. I want this as a zero. So uh, many many people, what they do is they just do the freeze transformation, and I don't want. I don't really uh, recommend to do the freeze transformation thing because the reason why is because as you can see because we set up the rotation here on rotate y now we have this axis to make this like rotate in this uh, uh, axis however as soon as we if we do a freeze transform to clean up the translate that and the rotation from our uh, modify freeze transformations what happens is that the axis here is going to snap back to the world space as you can see here in the grid and uh, now the axis is gone to spin this uh, rotation as like what we did before we cannot spin it I mean we can manually just look through it and try to make it spin something like this but it's not going to work that good so that's why we don't really I don't recommend to do the uh, freeze transformation for uh, for the characters even for the controllers by the way so uh, yeah that's one reason why we don't uh, we don't do freeze tra transformation and uh, yeah then how can we make set this to zero and how can we uh, rotate it in this direction so uh, I'm going to explain why and we need a group for that so for example if we are going to create a controller here uh, we are going to just simply use this controller, this curve or uh, circle for the controller and you can easily later on you can use a different uh, fancy looking controllers. 